The Terraria 1.3 update introduced Expert Mode. This finally gave players a choice on how difficult they wanted enemies and bosses to be in their playthrough. Expert Mode doubled most enemies' health and damage and even increased some enemies' attack patterns. That said, there's still no easy mode in Terraria for players who want a more relaxed experience. Or is there? How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and today I'm going to show you how an easy mode exists in Terraria. It's been there all along, but it's not exactly what you think it is. So I know the obvious comment here. Happy Happy, there's no easy mode in Terraria. When you start a new world, you pick normal or expert mode. That's it. And yes, you'd be completely right if you said that. But here's where it gets interesting as Terraria's easy mode isn't an option you select in the menu and you can turn it on or off anytime you want. So some of you might be sitting there thinking, well, if it's not an option in the menu, but I can turn it on or off at any time I want, what on earth is it? How does easy mode actually work? It's the weapons, guys. It's linked to weapons that are easily accessible at certain points of the game that are completely overpowered compared to similar weapons you can acquire at that stage. I'd like to add that I think the Terraria developers have been really clever with how they've designed the weapons in the game, allowing you to customize your difficulty as you play. Have any of you ever found an enchanted sword early on in your adventure in a new world? It does huge damage for a new character, it auto swings rapidly and shoots projectiles that cost no ammo or mana. A brand new character can YOLO across the countryside looking for sword shrines which means you can have an enchanted sword at about the same time you can have a wooden broadsword or cactus sword. Try fighting the goblin army with an enchanted sword, then try it again with a cactus sword. The enchanted sword simply outperforms the cactus sword in every way imaginable and makes the goblin army a lot easier on the player. Now I understand there may not always be an enchanted sword in your world, so let's look at another example. How about at the start of hard mode? What's your favourite weapon to grab early on? Maybe an Amarok yo-yo or a Frostbrand? Well if you're confident enough with your abilities for just 15 souls of light, you can fight a hallowed mimic on the surface for the chance to get the insane Daedalus Stormbow. The Daedalus Stormbow fires 3-4 to four arrows per shot, requires hardly any aim by the player, and when paired with holy arrows, it completely shreds the mech bosses to pieces. Compare fighting the Destroyer with the Daedalus Stormbow paired with holy arrows versus the Shadow Flame Bow, both of these bows which can be collected at the start of hard mode. The Daedalus Stormbow can deal up to 4 times as much damage as the Shadow Flame Bow against this boss, and in addition, the Daedalus Stormbow easily destroys all the probes with its large volleys of arrows filling the screen. I realised in my vanilla Archer playthrough I didn't replace the Daedalus Stormbow until I got my hands on the Phantasm right at the end of the game. It's just that powerful. For guns I found that the Mini Shark and Mega Shark with their insane speed and damage generally outperform other guns available at the same stages of the game and were great against enemies and bosses alike. For magic, if you're lucky to find a water bolt at the top of the dungeon and you get a few mana stars, you can completely destroy all early game enemies and bosses when you fill the screen with bouncing bolts of death. And don't even get me started on the meteor armor and space gun combo. That thing is completely OP. Now, I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea here. The point of this video isn't to say you shouldn't use these weapons. I use them a lot myself. They're incredibly powerful and they're a lot of fun to use. What I am saying, however, is that you can actually adjust how hard or easy your Terraria playthrough is by the weapons you choose to use. So if you've ever found yourself saying, Terraria is getting a little bit easy for me, ask yourself if there's some weapons you've never tried before and give them a go. I know I'd love to try out the Klinger Staff, the Elf Melter, the Flame Orang, and the Venus Magnum, but I've just never really given them a go. So what other weapons do you think make Terraria a lot easier at the stage of the game you get them? Let me know in the comments below and my question to you is this. What weapons make Terraria a lot more difficult to play if you use them? For example, has anyone actually ever used the Crystal Vial Shard in a playthrough? That weapon seems to get ignored by a lot of players. Smash that like button if you're going to try and kill the Moon Lord with a copper short sword. And if you're looking for more videos to watch, why not check out one of these two? And here's the most important part, as always, you'll stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days signing out. See ya!